Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. I got us a few more bags, I went to Thunder Bluff, and I did the, the fetch quest there, did the turn in, came back, turned that in. Tried to empty our bags as best we could, but then realized that what we really need was just to have more bags. So now we have a couple more bags. We're going to start today by heading back over to the Razor Main area. And we're looking for a new set of guys there. We need Geomancers, Defenders, and we need to find Kreenig Snarl Snout. While we're over that way looking for Kreenig, we're also going to try to get the Crossroads Supply Crate. I think they're in a similar area. Uh, but either way, we will take care of all of that. After that, we are going to head over to the west and investigate the Forgotten Pools. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some of your time with me here in Azeroth. I do appreciate it. Yeah, we still need plane striders, don't we? Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, we have defenders here and geomancers. But I'm kind of thinking we might have more of them in the area that we actually need to fight our way back into. So I'm not going to fight any, many of them over here. What, what I'm going to do is make our way over to this side of the mountain. And we're going to have to fight somebody. We'll make our way to the other side of the mountain here where I think we can get the crate and possibly find Kreenig as well in the same spot. And we'll clear that out, and then we'll hunt down anything else we need after clearing that out. Oh, apparently the crossroads supplies can be in a couple of different places. I've never found it over here, but Questy is kind of indicating that we might be able to find it in a couple of different spots. That's interesting. Uh, it also marks it as possibly being back here. Uh, which it is. And Kreenig is back here too, so this is the area we're going to clear out. Let's start all the way over here. Oh joy, they have Healing Wave. Yeah, that's going to be incredibly annoying. That's going to be incredibly annoying. Let's, let's make some bandages. We're going to need them. Let's wait for this hunter to come out a little bit more and we're going to get him, we're going to take care of him because we don't want to be having to worry about his pathing while we're fighting others.
Uh, I think I need to go back to clearing along this wall over here. The only- well, that's a problem. That's one problem. The one problem is that I'm just randomly pulling guys. I don't know if this was a patrol or a respawn or if I just wasn't paying attention. Didn't see a guy back here, but uh, here he is anyway. The problem over here is that I don't think I can pull this guy without pulling both of these. I don't think he walks far enough away. Well, yeah, we got him. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, you're a rare spawn. Elder Mystic Razor Snout. Are you going to come with this ad? Let's try to do the same trick and let's try to pull you back a little bit. Okay, he came by himself. He did lay a totem down. I'm going to kind of outrange the totem here. Oh, apparently I need to pay more attention to my health because I did not go into that with full health or he's just hitting like a goddamn truck. Yeah, I guess he's just hitting like a truck. That is unfortunate. We're going to try that again. I'm just going to go ahead and make the assumption that I didn't have full health when that started. Because if we did have full health when that started, that means he absolutely crushed crushed us. And like, that's not acceptable to me. So I'm going to live in the fantasy world where uh, we just didn't have full health yet. So let's eat, and we'll try that again. I'll drink some more coffee, and maybe I will wake up and be coherent. Uh, so yeah, that, that isn't going to happen this morning. I'd like to get him. We're not going to come back for him, but it'd probably be something that we could do when we were level 15. But uh, he hits like a truck. Like, he hits like an actual elite. And there's the healing wave. And uh, yeah, we're just having a really bad time this morning. Really bad time so far. Oh, that's awesome. Alright. Uh, well. I really don't know. I thought we had clearance on that, but apparently we didn't. Uh, I guess it's just going to be one of those days. I'll try to pay a little bit more attention. Like I said, I thought we were clear. I thought we were going to be able to charge in, get our rage, do the fight. But uh, yeah, just like I thought, maybe we would be able to take out that rare spawn. But it turns out in both cases, 
I was completely wrong. We'll see if that trend continues like it probably will. Sorry about this, guys. It's uh, quite a slow, crummy way to start us off here. Usually I find that if I don't build momentum early, um, then it, we don't really get a lot done. That's <laughs> kind of what I noticed about doing these playthroughs is like, you gain momentum or you don't. At least that's how it seems to be for me. And this is the opposite of momentum. This is a full stop. Everything is hit a full stop. We're going to have all the respawns back up. We're going to have to deal with And if they're not back up yet, then worse, they're going to pop up while we're fighting other enemies. Uh, so that's going to be worse than them already being up, because then we're going to get jumped by ads that we don't anticipate. And that's why momentum is so important, especially when you're clearing out an area. It's quite likely that where our corpse is, is now going to be surrounded by enemies. <laughs> we'll see if we have a safe place to res. Let's stand here for a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute for everything to pop into the world, I've noticed. Okay, it looks okay. And uh, here we go. Oh, that's not good. It might actually be that we're too low of a level to do this quest right now. I'm wondering if Kreenig is going to hit just as hard as this rare spawn over here, and if that's the case, we are not going to be able to take him on right now. Yeah, everything over here is just hitting us really, really hard. That is the problem we're running into. Any minute now, the stuff back here that we fought is going to start to respawn. We just watched the body here disappear. Oh good, here we go. Okay, cool. That's perfect. So we're not doing that right now. Let's drag our sorry ass back to town. Uh, we need to get some more food. And yeah, that's basically all we need to do, but we're not doing that right now. Uh, is there anything we can do? It really doesn't seem like there's going to be any quest uh, that's green or relatively simple. Uh, we're going to try to go over to the Forgotten Pools. And we're going to attempt to do that. Is the Barrens just like a punishing place for a warrior? Is that what it is? I know that some zones and some enemies are harder on certain classes. Oh, and I'm kind of wondering if this is just a, a difficult zone... To be, oh, we already have some extra food. Okay, I didn't see that there. Alright, well, I mean, in that case, we are just awful, and we need to get better. <laughs> let's, let's head out in a different direction. Let's go this way. And see if maybe we can make our way over to the Forgotten Pools. Maybe we can even get a quest done. That would be cool. And yeah, for the next minute and a half or so, we're going to have to stick to the road. We're not we're not going to be able to fight anything until our res sickness wears off. Because it's reducing all of our attributes by 75%. We have a couple of breadcrumbs we could turn in in Ratchet. I don't think that's going to get us 
really any experience to, to speak of, so probably not a big priority. I'd love to fight some of these plane stalkers, and we will once this wears off. Uh, and we can pick up these quests here. We're probably not going to be able to do either of these. <laughs> because that's kind of what it has seemed like. But we'll pick them up and maybe maybe one day we'll be able to do them. Let's take a look here at what we have. We have a talent point. We can either go into deflection or we could go into bleed damage. I'm just going to go into bleed damage. Centaur Bracers, the Kolkar are a threat to the Horde's claims in the Barrens. We must reduce the number of their troops, and so I have a bounty... a bounty task for you. A bounty task. For the Horde. And Kolkar leaders. The Centaurs have plagued the Tauren for years, and recently the Kolkar Centaurs of the Barrens have grown into a real threat. Normally they were disorganized in these lands, but new leaders have risen among them, rallying them. Go forth to victory. Alright, yeah, we can fight some centaurs if we can find them on their own. Obviously, we're not in any position to assault any kind of fixed position or camp. Because if, if we do that, we're going to pull adds, and we now know that adds are going to instantly kill us. Uh, without even really a chance to escape with our lives. So we're going to avoid... We're going to avoid things for a while. <laughs> That's really all we can do. I think we have to make our way over, over to these bubbles that we see. I don't think we have to click on anything. I think we just have to get nearby. There we go. Explore the waters of the Forgotten Pools complete. Uh, let's see. You're level 12. We might be able to fight a level 12 guy. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, look at that. We actually defeated somebody. Go us. I'm not really going to worry about getting all the bracers right now. Eventually, when we're ready to take on the leaders, we'll have more opportunity to get more of the bracers. But right now, it's not really a huge priority. Uh, are we missing one? Oh no, we're not. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, we're going to start making our way back to town, and we're going to fight any plane striders or raptors that we see along the way. Try to work on those quests. Uh, and then we're going to turn these in. I think we're going to follow the pools quest for a little while and just kind of get some easier experience. And we'll worry about the big uh, bristleback camps later.
Yeah, see, they're not really fond of dropping any of their bracers, and that's why we're not going to focus that quest right now, because we could be at it for a long time and make zero progress. That's all the plane strider beaks we need. I see a couple of raptors around here, so I'm gonna go take out these raptors. They're kind of spread all over the place, so I like to fight them whenever I see them. And we'll just hold on to the quest until we're done with it. We're not gonna focus it or try to find them all at once. Anything like that. We will have more than enough animals to hunt here in the barrens that we'll be able to work the raptors in uh, whenever it's convenient. Lots of blood elves hanging out in the barrens today. But not a lot of people in general. There we go. There they are. <laughs> Had to take it up to level 25. Oh, apparently these raptors can disarm us. I don't really know how he managed that, but he did it. Kind of keeping this axe as we level up, we can use it for the next couple levels to keep our two-handed axe skill up. Like we could already throw it on for a bit and benefit from it. So I'm holding on to that. Other than that, I don't really think we have a lot to sell. I'm just going to start selling our herbs because I don't think I'm going to be putting the low-level stuff onto the auction house. And we just really need the room in our bags more than we need anything else. Trust no one. 
think he's gonna have a breadcrumb that takes us to Silver Pine. Which I'm probably not gonna do on this character. Maybe, maybe. We'll have to go into Silver Pine at some point to get the flight point for Glory Shadow Fang Keep. I just don't think I want to spend a lot of time questing there. Let's see, the Zevra slay Zevra runners to collect four Zevra hooves. Go with honor. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, this is a timed quest to go to Thunder Bluff. I will do that, but I'll do it when I when I log out or before I log Please, out today. Friend. Take these seeds. They are dead and infertile, but take them to the stagnant oases to the southeast. If there's a fissure there, then place the seeds within it and observe. May the eternal sun shine. Okay, so I think that's going to be our next destination. It's going to be down here. So on the way, we still need raptor heads, and now we need zebra hooves. So we'll keep our eyes open and see what we can get done on the way. Oh, he knocked us on our butt right away. Good for him. Lots of Zebra hanging out right here. Let's find out what the drop rate is on their hooves. Probably a good time to get some health back here before we do anything else. So the drop rate is about 50-50. It's not great. It's not awful. The good thing is we, we found a large population of Zever over here, so that makes it a little bit easier. to full.
Alright, I do want to continue to try to head southeast. Uh, it's likely that we'll be able to fight these exact same Zevra when we head back to the north. Uh, that being said, let's go get this one. Probably take on a couple of these guys to see if we get any bracers. Couldn't hurt. We have a roving band of centaurs coming in at about our 11 o'clock over here. We're gonna avoid them. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna skin and then we're gonna get out of the general area. Hey, there's our first pair of bracers. Perfect. It's a level 15 raptor that's probably going to kill us. We are having just really bad luck with coming up against things that are a little bit too strong for us. And, uh, and really not having any way to counteract it. Yeah. It's been a rough day, guys. <laughs> it's been a really rough day on the warrior. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Barrens is a place that the enemies kind of vacillate. You can come up against somebody who's level 11. Or you could be fighting somebody who's level 15. And it's, it's going to be random and different in the same area. And that's the problem we're having. We had we had basically full health there. There's not really a good reason why we should have died. Except that we were two levels low. Um, you know, and, and like, had we had full health, it would have gone a little better if we had gotten a charge in. We, we could have taken a level 15 raptor, but apparently we cannot handle a single level 15 raptor if he walks up on us. Even if we're basically at full health, and that's kind of depressing. Not really happy about that. Not really a lot I can do about it either. Except be a little bit more vigilant and not assume, like, I saw him coming and I assume we'd be able to take him out just fine. Um, I didn't really look at his level, but... I didn't expect him to be that much of a challenge. And apparently I'm gonna have to reevaluate how I think about enemies on this class. Because we have had a couple of rough, uh, encounters today that have just gone sideways really quickly. And kinda highlighted some of our weaknesses. Our main weakness is we have no ability to get out of shit. Once we're in a bad situation, we don't have any ability to get out of anything. That's a big reason why I think I used to just do alchemy, because we'd at least have healing potions. Uh, for what they're worth, and they're not always worth a lot. Like, right now, I, I should fight this guy for his head? I don't want to. Because I'd, I'd rather not die to the same raptor twice, so we're going to leave him alone. Thank <laughs> you. 
it makes me really wish that I had gone to Falcon Wing Square <laughs> and done a bunch of the lower level quests there. Uh, now we're going to have to wait a few levels so we can go somewhere else and then maybe maybe once we've zone hopped we'll be in ahead of the leveling curve enough that we won't be having as many problems. I'm not really willing just to count on that, but at this point it's all we can do. Uh, I, I do think it's too late. I do think it's too late to go to Falcon Wing Square. Well, maybe not. I'll tell you what. Let's finish uh, this quest first. Let's let's get the this oasis quest finished. We'll test the seeds, and maybe we're gonna cut our losses here. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Oh, yep, nope, 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 nope. There's level 16 snap snapping turtles in here. We're not doing this. <laughs> They're aggressive. We are not doing this. So yeah, guys, I, I don't know how it's going to work out. I feel like we're kind of over, over level for it, but I'm leaving here. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to fly to uh, Silvermoon. We're not going to fly to Silvermoon. We're going to take the Zeppelin to Undercity, teleport to Silvermoon. We're going to come down here and, and start uh, doing some of these quests. Uh, I think we can do, we can be six levels higher than a quest and still have a grant experience. I'm pretty sure... So, we have at least, we can hit level 14, maybe even level 15 before we lose a bunch of this stuff. But yeah, we can still do a lot of this, and I think that we need to. I think that we need to go somewhere with some green quests so we can get some levels, and that's going to be more enjoyable for me. And we'll have plenty of opportunity to be challenged by stuff, but... Right now, I feel like we kind of made a bad choice by by not uh, double zoning and not zone hopping like earlier on on the class. It could be that some classes you can wait a little longer to do that. Like I feel like on the rogue, we didn't zone hop until we got into Ghostlands. But I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling the barons on this warrior. It seems like it's it's ramping between the class and the zone. It seems like the difficulty is being ramped up more so than it might be somewhere else or with another class. And I've kind of learned that when I start to get frustrated with stuff, uh, what I should do is use my brain to come up with a different plan that might be less frustrating. And that's what we're doing now. We have a plan <laughs> to be less frustrating. So yeah, good times. Uh, let's see, we're just going to run out of town here. Yeah, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get us there. I am going to do a little bit of a cut here so you guys don't have to watch all the travel. Uh, I don't think I really want to try to occupy that time with my random thoughts. So I'm going to do a little cut and... Oh, I sold some stuff on the auction house. Look at that. Oh, we have bags. That have, uh, <laughs> it's not like I just bought a bunch of bags. Hey, thank you, Medarian. I really do appreciate the support. Thank you so much. These eight slot bags are going to come in like real handy. Replace some of our six slots and some gear is going to help as well. Much appreciated, friend. I, I do really appreciate that. 
Uh, I did sell some stuff on the auction house, uh, not for a lot, about 20 silver each, and I'm really happy that that's sold. It gives me hope that we can sell some stuff on the auction house in the future. This will be a great weapon to do rage fire with, uh, which means we can sell this. These are going to be great to equip right now, so that's huge. And then, of course, for our bags, we can go here and here. All right, yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to do a cut here, guys. I'm going to get us out to Falcon Wing Square, and I will see you when we get there.